Hi guys, this afternoon I want to do a quick tutorial on creating the F1 in Schools Balsa block within Onshape. On the screen at the moment I've got the technical regulations and you can see the dimensions of the block is 50 millimeters high, 65 millimeters wide across there, 225 millimeters long. We have a 6 by 6 millimeter cutout for the tether line slot along the entire bottom of the block, and we have a 19 millimeter hole. For the canister housing, 29 millimeters up from the bottom, and it goes in 52 millimeters into the block. So jumping into one shape, I've got my folder here. I'm in my F1 in Schools folder, and I'm going to create a document called Balsa Block, and hit OK to create that document. So I'm going to give that a second. It's going to load up my workspace, and now I can see my three axes. I want to create this sketch starting on the right hand plane. So I'm going to start sketch, click on the right plane, and I'm just going to spin this around so it's facing me. So I'm going to click on the right face on the view cube. I'm going to draw a just a corner rectangle. So click and drag, release. Uh, up the top here, I want my first dimension to be 65, enter, and then the second dimension will be 50 for the height. Now I want to constrain this to center it on here. It, it's just a nice little trick and it'll help us further down the track. So I'm going to start with a coincident constraint. That's the button up the top here. And I want to click on the bottom line of our block and I want to click on the center of the axis there. I next want to dimension this so it is symmetrical around the center line. So I'm going to dimension it from the edge to the axis and I'm just highlighting to get over that center dot and I want this to be half of 65 so that'll be 32.5 millimeters. Okay so that's done now. Next thing we need to add our 6 by 6 millimeter slot for the tether line guide here. So I'm going to create another corner rectangle and I'm going to make sure it's uh, starting on the bottom line and I want to go up and click I want it to be 6 and 6. And I need, again, to get it centered on there. So I'm going to dimension it from the edge to the center line here. And this time I want to go 3 millimeters. So there's my first sketch done for the back edge of the block. And if I click Finish Sketch, now I can extrude that all the way out. So I'm going to click my Extrude button. And I want this to be extruded 225 millimeters long. Hit enter, and there's my the body of my block. Now we still need to add our canister hole on here. So if I click on sketch, I'm going to select the face of my balsa block again on the view cube. Click on right, so I'm looking at that sketch. I want to go center point circle and start by coming in and, and highlighting over the center axis here and as you go up you can see I've got this yellow dotted line that means I'm on the center so I'm just going to keep it there come up and click I want to type in 19 the 19 millimeter circle and we now need to dimension that so two things I can do here I can either click on the dimension button or I can press the D key on my keyboard and that's a shortcut to dimension. Now I need to dimension from the very bottom so I click on the bottom of my sketch and the center of the hole and I've got this at 28 which is pretty close I'm aiming for 29 so I'll type that in. There's my circle in the right spot so now I can finish my sketch. I want to extrude that shape so Click on Extrude and make sure you're highlighting just the orange line around the circle, nothing else. Now this time we want to remove, we're not adding a new feature, we're removing parts of it. And I want the depth to be 52 millimeters. And you can see that in a second, will slowly go all the way in. So click OK. And now highlight that, I can see I've got my canister housing uh, 52 millimeters deep. I have my balsa block that is 65 millimeters across the top, 50 millimeters in height, 225 millimeters long, 
and I've got a tiny little six by six millimeter cutout in the bottom. Once we're done, well, pretty much closed document. And now in my F1 folder, I have my balsa block ready and we'll need that later down the track when we start machining. So we'll save that and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.